welcome to AIL technology in this section we are going to cover how to create a new geometry and importing an existing geometry setting up working environment creating new database and working directory and some basic tools create new model enter the model name chapter 1 choose the working directory Okay. Here, yeah, some common tools are available here. This icon helps you change the background color. Right click and choose the color which you want to apply or which you like. Okay. This icon is to split the windows for example single window, dual window or more. Right click this is the default window. Okay. This icon helps to edit the grid settings, double tap it, just open it. I'm going to edit the grid size and window. Press G to view the grid. Yeah. Is it to zoom? Shift plus F to view print view. Double tap. Choose nine. Okay. F to fit. Okay, I'm creating a new geometry box. Check the check box and enter the value which you want in centimeter or you can also edit the unit. The default unit are right. Okay. The first click defines the location. And second click defines the orientation. For box, there is no orientation needed. So only one click is needed. One click. Plus F to fit the screen. This icon helps to change the view, shader view, or wireframe. Okay. This is my coordinate system. Choose the line straight in the center. Just select. It helps to move. This box helps to rotate, or you can also modify the mark one. CM is just center of mass location. This is my coordinate system. You can also orientation zero comma zero comma zero x comma y comma z. This is my location. My square box. Okay, I change the orientation. I am going to change its location to its origin. I'm changing the value to origin 0, 0, 0. Okay, I am creating a new geometry. Cylinder. Check the tick box. Enter the value which you want. You can create a new part or add a part to an existing part or you can add a part on ground. If you have a create a new part, you can just add continuous part to a single geometry. I'm creating a new part. First click for the location and second click for orientation. Okay. To rotate it, plus R and just rotate. Shift. I'll go to view. Preset orientation. Print. To change the view, option two to rotate at x, y, z, and x, y direction, fit to screen, zoom in, zoom out, and zoom box. Zoom box just review. Yeah. It's zoom the box. Okay. Shift plus F. Shift plus S to change the view. 
or you can right here. Okay, I'm creating an another geometry here. Just click the radius, apply, or another method without clicking the radius. First point, second point, the radius size. Okay. So some boolean operations are available here. Okay, another geometry, island, bottom, radius, first point for location and second point for orientation. You can also change the orientation by mark 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and location 0, 0. Okay. creating a link then with depth we need two points first point for location and second point for orientation the three marks will be available mark one for mark one mark two and center marks okay I'm creating a plate to create a plate we need a minimum three reference points first point second point third point and right click to complete mark one mark two mark three mark one mark two mark three okay Helps to modify to apply material type. Select geometry and material property in material type. Right click, choose material. Guess from steel and converting into stainless. Now apply. So calculated in Okay. There is some common mistake that every person does here. Is after changing the material without apply the extractor inertia value for example I have changed the stainless steel to steel then I should apply then I should go to so inertia value before apply it should not go to inertia value see so, so here on message so please apply then calculate the inertia value it's done okay Next, extrusion, depth or thickness, I am choosing point method, 1, 2, three. how many points you want, okay, then right click to finish, and do it again, extrusion, choose points, one. creating a 2D profile, right click to complete. Okay, the same as revolve. Now we are going to import an existing geometry file in a parasolid format. Choose file type a parasolid. File to read, right click browser. In my working directory, I already copied my parasolid format and just opening it. Create a new model name. Model one. Okay. Right click. Okay. There are many options are available here. You can do front view, top view, right side view, isometric view, zoom, zoom out, box, origin. F yeah, for fit, fit to view. You can also rotate in X and Y direction. Front 
Okay, shift plus F. Okay, this so I can help you change the so the wireframe mode. Okay, now next method is connection. The basic connections are fix and revolve joint, translate joint, sphere, and plane. I am going to teach about fix connection. For fixing a body, we need a two location. I mean two body. The first body has ground, and second body has a mounting board. And I need a location. It shows in the lower. Okay. Next, I am creating a revolve joint. First, choose the ground. My location or this board. Mounting board, so body one and body two as my driver. Okay, then select a location. It will display here. This street. Okay. And the joint is applied here. Okay. And do it again. Body one. Right click. To choose a specific part, rather many. Then choose the location. Okay, computer. Now we are going to apply connections like a contact tool. Uh, go to course, create a new contact. The nine section is uh, solid six, solid one. In J section six, solid two. Apply. Then go to a section. Pick B. Solid four. And pick down. Solid three. Apply. Go to right click contact solid. Pick solid two. Right click contact solid. Pick down. The set computer to create a new code spring spring enter the value in this section. I'm not going to apply this value, I'm just leaving it a plan to create a new spring. We need a two reference point point one and point two. Press W to zoom in a window. To solve simulation. Interactive simulation just run to solve. Okay, next section we're going to solve. Thank you for watching.